there are lots of different types of walking boots on the market. Um, this is just a quick video really to show you how I tie my walking boots. Um, the best method that's worked for me is save me getting blisters. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so as I said earlier, there's lots of different types of walking boot for various different types of feet. If you've got arched feet or relatively flat feet, there's loads of different walking boots out there. This is just basically how I lace up my boot. Uh, it works for me. Again, uh, trial and error, try your own way of doing it. Eventually, hopefully, you'll find something that might fit. With a bit of luck, some of these tips might help you. So generally, when you get a walking boot, they come, they come kind of as a standard where the lace will cross over each side by the eyelets and work its way up. That's generally how a walking boot will come to you. The first thing I make sure I do is I, the, the tongue of the boot, I make sure is comfortable around the top of my shin because there's nothing worse than having a wonky tongue of the shoe and then have these side bits with the eyelets digging into your shin, which is uncomfortable. Then I just, when I, to tighten this bit here, as opposed to pulling apart, because you can see by the way it's cross latched there, I will just pull up and together a bit and that tightens the top of my boot there. Now rather than uh, do the first overhand kind of knot there and push down, if I did that, that's gonna crush the top of my heel and as I walk, because your feet expand and change as you walk, that's gonna dig into the top of my foot. So I come up to the first eyelet here on the side of my boot and I just go latch them through the eyelet once and then I make a double rather than one like that as you do with your traditional shoelace. I like to do it twice because that acts as a locking knot then. It kind of pinches on itself and it makes it much easier for when I then move up to the next eyelets. Now there's different ways, I'll show you the second way of doing this in a minute, but the, the way that I sometimes do it is I'll go then cross through the next, I've got another two eyelets up there. So I'll just do single knots for that one there, like that, Rip, nice and tight. Not too tight though, so you want your foot to breathe. And then I'll do another overhand knot and pinch that off there. And actually with this last one, what you can do is, an is another locking one again. So you go through twice and that, as I pull tight, I can let go and that still pinches quite well. And then you do your standard bunny loop. However you were taught to do it, there's different ways. Pull that through there, then over and around the loop there. And that's, Generally how I wear it, if I'm climbing over rocks or tough conditions and I need a firm boot with some good ankle support there. Um, and I've got enough range for movement in this section here, but it's nice and firm up here. It's still got movement because you always need a, to allow a bit of movement, but I can feel my toes aren't going to push down and get blisters on the top of my toe there. And my heel is nice and secured there at the back. That's one way of doing it. I'll show you another way just now. Okay, so the next way of doing it um, is good for if you want to keep this bottom part of your ankle secure and down the bottom part of your boot. Because um, sometimes a lot of people get blisters around the back of their ankles as opposed to just their, their feet, they get them around the back and the sides. So this way, again, I put my foot in the boot, I, I wiggle it around first, get the tongue in a nice position, pull across, forward, sort of up in the air and across, just to tighten that bit there. Not too tight, you don't want to go too tight there because it will dig into the top of your foot. But just to take all the tension into that lace there. Then I'll latch through the first two again. First two eyelets and I'll do one. Then I'll do the locking one again, like that. So I've gone twice through and I'll pull that nice and firm there. Then this time as opposed to going across these two eyelets here, I'm going to go up both of them up the side and this is just going to help for when I it will help relieve a bit of tension on the top of my foot but help secure that ankle and again I go under once then under twice and I pull that tight at the top there and secure with the bunny loop however you do your bunny loops on your shoes and the other one there and then I'll do a double loop just to secure that there now what that's allowed, if I pull these laces out of the way, I've now got a bit of space here and a bit of space here, which can often be pressure points when wearing walking boots. And that now allows me for some movement. I can move, I can crunch up my toes and I've got movement here in my foot. And I can lean backwards and forwards up the top here and this part can move much better than it did before. So I hope those tips have worked for you guys. 
obviously there's loads of different ways that you can lace up your boot at the end of the day it's what works for you this is what works for me um, I do a lot of rock fishing and fishing over rocks and I do lots of uh, long distance hiking and things like that this is what works for me it, it may depend on the type of boot you use but hopefully um, some of those tips might have helped you